What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Coal Cracker Wool Blankets, one of our hot selling items here at the shop. So the first question we get asked all the time, why a wool blanket? Why not a sleeping bag or something else? Listen, I'm not against sleeping bags, I'm not against quilts, anything like that. But when it comes to wool blankets, they're super traditional, the long hunters use them, the mountain men use them, people before that use them, we're still using them. Um, they are fun to use, they add some excitement to camp, they add a new skill set to your camp because it does take some skill to sleep in cold weather with a wool blanket. And in warmer fall weather, or spring or summer, this is all you need. You don't need a big heavy sleeping bag, so it works really well. Wool blankets also maintain their insulative value if it's wet, so if for some reason they get wet or it starts raining and your shelter's not up to par, you're still gonna stay warm with these things. And what's really nice is that you can keep your campfire going all night. You don't have to worry about those little embers or sparks popping off and burning your brand new wool blanket the way it would burn a brand new synthetic sleeping bag. So lots of good stuff with that. Um, Lastly, what I always like to tell people is, with the wool blanket, what's nice, you can sit on it while you're around camp, and then you can also team it up with a sleeping bag or a quilt or throw it inside your hammock with you, just for another layer of comfort. Okay, so our wool blankets are a 90-10 mix. That means 90% wool, 10% polyester. Here's why. Um, I think that the durability, when you have that mixture, is much greater. They just hold up a little bit better, plus it keeps the price down, the price of these things are super reasonable. Size wise on these are 90 by 70, so they're almost right there at that queen size, big enough to be able to wrap up, do the whole taco burrito method with these. And then they come in two great colors. So we have our autumn color and then we have our brown plaid. Um, ah, great, I love both of them. And then finally, one question, if you do already own one of these or you're thinking about getting one, how do you clean them? And uh, we usually recommend a dry clean. Take them to a dry cleaner and get them cleaned. But if you don't wanna go that route, what you can do is you can just throw them inside your dryer non-wet and just run cycle, right? The hot air will just freshen them up, make them feel nice again. You could throw a dryer sheet in with them if you'd want to. If they get dirty, let them dry, just spot clean them with a little brush, a little bit of water will clean clean it right off. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna throw these in the washing machine. I have thrown them in, I haven't had any damage to them, but just to be on the safe side, don't do that. I'm also gonna be doing a video in the near future on um, woodland dry cleaning. So it's, it's cool, it's a fun way to get out for the day and keep your gear up to par. So that's it, that is our wool blanket rundown. Every little detail about them. I hope you uh, go pick one up yourself. You can check them out, like I said, in the description below. Also, coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, gear up so you can stay in the woods.